There are a lot of talk these days of who should be the heavyweight champion of the world. Well, let's look at it. Why don't we? Let's see. What does the heavyweight division look like these days? We got Deontay Wilder. A basketball player that started boxing in his 20s. Anthony Joshua, a soccer player that started boxing when he was like 18. And we got Tyson Fury. That is a natural born fighter, even named after the great Mike Tyson. So Deontay Wilder swings like a madman. Does he have one of the strongest punches in the history of boxing? Yes. 40 fights, man. 39 KOs. So, yes. Should he be the undisputed champ? No. Why? Because of that. He's not a boxer. He started boxing because of necessity. And God bless him. Anthony Joshua, a soccer player that looks like a bodybuilder, man. Should he be the undisputed champ? No. If you want to see if he's a natural fighter or not, just look at Anthony Joshua. Every time a punch comes his way, he flinches. Now, I boxed for majority of my life. And I could tell you, that when you're boxing since a young age, when those punches come your way, you look directly at him. Just look at fighters, natural born fighters like Lomachenko, man. He watches the punch come to him. He's not flinching. Anthony Joshua flinches every time that punch comes to him. And then, of course, we got Tyson Fury. Well, before we say that also, Dominic Brazil. <laughs> Dominic Brazil, man. A football player that started boxing when he was like 23, 24. And I know he's a contender, but still... That's what the heavyweight division looks like now. It looks like athletes that didn't achieve anything in their other sports come to boxing and they want to be champions of the world because of necessity. Again, God bless them. Lots of love. But Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, a six foot nine dude that flies like a butterfly and stings like a bee. That dude can move. And the things that he accomplished internally the trauma that he was able to get through and overcome man that dude lost like 200 pounds in like a year something or two years whatever overcame everything now what he needs to do is tone down and really get into better shape and he will be unstoppable he needs to work on the power of that punch but that dude can box that is a naturally born fighter real boxer like i said he was even named after the great mike tyson so if you ask me there's only one heavyweight champion right now that truly deserves to be a heavyweight champion that has been dreaming about being a heavyweight champion since he was a kid and that's my and that's tyson fury he was undisputed before by beating Klitschko. Now it's time for him to get all the titles back. Truly, one person that truly deserve it, deserves it and is not scared to fight anybody. Again, a six foot nine colossal titan that can move like a welterweight. All the other contenders and all the other so-called champions, man, y'all know that y'all don't even love boxing like that. Get out of the sport. Now, me being a boxer, boxing lover and have boxed for a for majority of my life, you know, I do have my own views on boxing now and I will address that in another video because boxing, just like all sports now, it's nothing but clowns and entertainers, money makers, you know. That is really not doing anything globally good for us. Only diverting our attention from everything that's actually important. But anyway, but I still watch the sport. I still love the sport. This, that sport saved my life at one point. So shout out to Tyson Fury, man. That is one true heavyweight 
champion. This was Food for Thought brought to you by Proof to Me to Your Live. Yours truly with you. Go check out some music. Get inspired. Get enlightened.